Hey, I just want to go over a couple of things with you um, as we're talking about things that have changed from last year to this year. And of course, everybody loves Thursday Thursdays. We'll talk about that. But I wanted to kind of read through a list for you because there are some new things here. And you heard uh, the owner, Andy Sandler, say earlier they really want this stadium to be really as much of a community gathering place as it is baseball. So when baseball's not in town, then they could actually do some other things. They do have, um, starting on Tuesday, any Tuesday game that they have, uh, $2 hot dogs, beers, and soda. So that's new. And then Wednesdays, they have White Claw Wednesdays. They're going to be deals on White Claws out here and reduced price on those days. Now, you get to Thursday, you don't mess with something if it works, right? And all of Greensboro loves the Thirsty Thursdays. That would be $2 beers and $4 craft beer. And then this is new and this is big. So Friday and Saturday nights we have fireworks. Every time the hoppers are playing at home on a Friday or a Saturday, they will have fireworks both days if need be. So that's a big deal. And then uh, COVID, you know, we, we couldn't do this last year, but now this is back on Sundays. You can take your kids down on the field and play catch with your kids on the field before the game starts in a certain designated time that they have. And then uh, after the game, they allow you to run the bases. And if you've been out here and seen that, in years past. It's, great, it's so much fun, a great bonding experience for parents and their kids. Now it's back and thank goodness, you know, we have that in person. So that first pitch, of course, at 6.30 tonight. Um, one of the things that I like to do is, you know, we talked to the new owner, which is super exciting, but uh, the field manager, Calix Crab, is coming up right here. Come on up, look, he's just literally just walking up. Sorry. That's all right. You grab that microphone when we get there. We got a few seconds left, but I want to chat with you. How you doing, hey, man? How you doing, Calix? Nice and chilly, right? And this is actually isn't too bad. Even though I'm from the Virgin Islands, this I can live with this. A little bit colder, probably not, but this is pretty good right now. Tell me about the team this year. What are we looking at? Good group, man. Um, highly energetic group. Um, passionate about the game. Young. Um, you'll see them play the game, you know, with a lot of fire. Um, they're close because they obviously they won the Florida State League Championship yeah, yeah. last year. Um, so they'll have their ups and downs, but I think it's going to be a good group. We were watching them warm up, and there were four or five that just crushed it out of there. Yeah. I mean, you got some good hitters there. Yeah, right? so that's the MO of this, of this team. Um, obviously, the pitching is going to be good as well, really good arms. Last year, a, a ton of guys had a ton of home runs and controlled the strike zone um, pretty decently, so they're, they're fun. We're excited, man. We're excited. You know this area loves it, so oh, yeah. this is, yeah, yeah. We're, we're pumped about this. Yeah. So thanks for stopping of by course. with us. Oh, no, it's going to be a great season, guys. Make sure you come out tonight, 6.30, first pitch. We'll be here.